I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game that we say Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here Thank you very much for joining me It's Friday September 26, 2025. Here in the Great Plains, they're saying that winter is coming early, which is good. It'll kill off the flies and all the mosquitoes and other types of pests. I got a swarms of ladybugs trying to get into the house to find shelter, I guess. I didn't know ladybugs hibernate. Yeah, swarms of them are flying around right now trying to get inside. Some did. But there in California, yeah, they don't have the cold winters like we do here. So there's still the threat of all the pests. Imagine biting into a juicy peach from your backyard, only to find it's riddled with tiny eggs and larvae. That's the nightmare of the oriental fruit fly. Brings to Southern California farms and homes. Hi, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. And today I'm going to be diving into a fresh, brand new threat. A brand new quarantine targeting this invasive pet in Riverside and San Bernardino, Cal uh, California, those counties. Announced just yesterday by the California Department of Food and Agriculture, a 131 square mile zone is ground zero for protecting our beloved fruits and veggies. First, the facts. The oriental fruit fly. Is a tiny invader from Asia that's already hit over 400 types of produce like apricots, cherries, figs, tomatoes, and citrus. Females lay the eggs right under the skin of the fruit and the hatching larvae turn your harvest into mush. Yeah. This isn't the first rodeo. A similar quarantine in eastern parts of these counties was only lifted last August after intense eradication efforts. But now, detection in the West have triggered this expanded alert. The zone covers key spots like Drupa Valley, East Val, Ontario, and Rancho Cucamonga, areas packed with residential yards and commercial groves. If you're in or near there, your backyard citrus or veggie patch could be at risk. So what is the impact? Commercial growers now face strict inspections and compliance rules through county ag offices. Think holdovers and certified treatments for everyday folks. You can't move fresh fruit or veggies out of the zones without checks. They can be treated by freezing, hot water immersion, or irradiation, or get a certificate from the CDFA. Why? Well, this fly hitches rides on produce, threatening California's $15 billion ag industry. Past outbreaks cost millions in lost exports. Riverside County Ag Commissioner Ruben Orio uh, would like people to help to stop the spread by putting up their own traps with fruit bait to monitor their own yards. So here is an action plan if you do live within that area. 1. Inspect and clean fallen fruit daily. Don't let it rot on the ground. 2. Bag and double bag infested produce. Then trash it in sealed bins. Not compost. 3. If you're traveling or shipping, declare your goods at the borders. And you can report sightings to the CDFA pest hotline, which is 1-800-491-1899. Or you can go online at cdfa.ca.gov. I remember years ago, I bought, oh, probably two cases of fresh lemons from one of the producers there that I met online. Oh, my goodness, they were so good, the lemons. He had a small family grove in their backyard. Oh, I hope this hasn't impacted that family. Remember, this quarantine works because all, everyone, all people have to pitch in. This new quarantine is a wake-up call, but hopefully with quick 
response. Everyone can squash this fly for good. Well, I really doubt it, but people need to stay vigilant. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button and share this with um, your friends and family and neighbors. Subscribe for more updates. And also put a comment down below. What's your go-to pest fighting tip? Well, here I think I probably don't have a problem with aphids, with the swarming uh, ladybugs. So thank you again for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.